collection of units of measurement what this mean the length can be expressed in different units so why these different unit has been came into picture with respect to length that is a question when why these are implemented we should read little bit small history uh, when it is implemented who is implemented why it is implemented hello students welcome to today session today's topic is all about systems of measurement we will understand how many systems are available in the measurement let me take you a small statement which explain you what are the systems of measurement okay we will take a small example with that let me read the first statement what exactly it is given collection of units of measurement what this mean we have a several fundamental units several physical fundamental units derived units okay so considering two example one is length and one is mass which is listed here the length can be expressed in different units it can be used in kilometer meter centimeter and millimeter so all these are units for length and they always gives a value of what is the length so why these different unit has been came into picture with respect to length that is a question that's where what they're telling the system of measurement says it is a collection of units so these are the collections basically okay of measuring system specific one measuring system right now we are talking about length so that is a specific machine and now the what they're telling the rule relating to them means it has a internal rule connecting to them because 1 km equals to 1000 m it has a conversion factor here and it has a connecting factor with respect to meter and km to cm also has conversion factor and connection and km to mm so they have a conversion factor basically that's the conversion factor is called a rule that is nothing but a rule relating to them relating to this to this and this to this and this to this and this to this so on to each other okay this is the statement basically now question comes here when why these are implemented so during when we go in depth to study to know when these are implemented we will come across different systems that's where it is very important to know different systems of measurement during that study we will come to know this kilometer meter centimeter millimeter with respect to length has been defined similarly it has there are several other units has been defined with respect to mass the mass is one one quantity fundamental physical quantity okay and you have kilogram here we have grams we have milligrams you know all these gives mass as a weight of the product weight of the subject or object but when these are defined that is a question so to know all these things we should read little bit small history uh, when it is implemented who is implemented why it is implemented okay that's where we need to understand little bit history let's jump into the history in a short uh, brief information so at least you will come to know when it is implemented okay let me go to the next slide so in the ancient years okay in the ancient years people of egyptians on several different continent people they were using different body parts to measure the length and mass all those things. so when we see this year okay before this we have a several traditional units and it is difficult to maintain and it is not uh, common for everyone so it is difficult to maintain which one we need to use so what scientist is decided from french scientist they got opportunity to remove all traditional and simplify the measuring system okay that is called metric system that's where the metric system has come into picture 
so during that time 1789 they defined they defined and they selected from the traditional one that is length is meter and mass is grams so they implemented meter and gram okay two quantities two units are identified here so the further continued study in 1799 this is this year the french scientist community implemented further into kilogram mass so here you see the kilogram has been implemented okay as a part of the mass so like this in the, by 1799 the three units has been implemented with respect to length and mass and also they found conversion factor along with this one that is 1 kg equals to 1000 grams okay let me go to the next history on the british continent so i would say the british scientist okay british scientist they invented fps system as a measuring system what do you mean by f f is foot okay which was used in ancient years uh, people and uh, means the egyptians they use this foot for measuring the length and pound as well and second is as it is it's the same and in 1824 they implemented because just because of the ancient people have started using it and the surrounding continental area means the surrounding people surrounding country people they are comfortable use that one they adopted to that one so they are not interested to migrate to the metric so that's where uh, the fps has been uh, standardized in the from the british scientist side so during that time uh, there were two versions totally one is american version another one is imperial version so american version is most people from the american continental they were started using the fps system the imperial one right now the uk and all surrounding they are started using the imperial so going to next continuing the from the french system they have implemented cgs the third one this cgs system is modified new version of metric system basically okay and the c means centimeter and g means grams and s means seconds that's how it is defined you know this is implemented in 17 1874 before that in 1832 french scientist called carl frederick gauss okay scientist who invented length as a millimeter and mass as a milligrams you see here uh, we already know that meter for length and kilogram and grams in the previously now two more added one is milligram okay and another one is millimeter so these two are implemented in 1832 so what this is did not sustain for a longer time because the length for the larger one it is it is the number system becomes a larger one and it is difficult to sustain that's why it is did not continue for a longer none so what happened further in 1874 from the french scientist itself two more scientists one is maxwell and another one is thomson they implemented okay further about the gauss theory and what they told length it can be considered as a centimeter and the mass considered as a grams so they modified from sort of millimeter to centimeter and milligrams to grams they converted so this is little bit better than millimeter and grams with respect to larger number system but still it is a bigger one so difficult to sustain for a longer time so what happened at this moment they defined as a cgs system and this is a system is continued for a certain time of period and in 1940 and the french scientist itself okay they they converted back and they told we will stick to mks system as a metric one all the time because of the numbering system and even they suggested to convert fps to mks but by the time by that time americans they invested huge um, money on industrial revolutionization they using all the fps they don't want to convert back to the mks they don't want to invest for the migration metric system so that's where they they returned to continue fps system so they did not convert so along with them the two more countries one is liberia and another one is Myanmar that is today we call it as a Burma they 
joined with the america and they also using the fps system and this system is continued another 20 years 1960 in 1960 what happened across the international community all scientists collaborated together and found a conclusion that we have to stick to the common units wherever you we go whenever we say meter they have to recognize it and they have to recognize kilometer like that they wanted to be common unit system that's where they decided to go with the modified ks system what i say it's a mod modified okay modified system and they they brought into a new system that is called international system of units that is this one internal system of units and this is called si unit okay from here onwards people started using but still american and burma and liberia they are still using fps and they have conversion factor to si system as well so that's where the systems of measurement is continued the journey continued and you see here uh, the conversion factor like if you see here one kg equal to thousand grams one gram equal to thousand milligrams so on the conversion factor is also uh, implemented and it is in the practice this is all about the systems of measurement basically to conclude uh, first is mks okay then it is a fps then it is a cgs and then they converted they migrated back to F mks that's how the journey went and later on they changed to si so during this time all these grams milligram meter centimeter millimeter okay all these and pound okay all these were invented and uh, they made standardized to use in the measuring system so this is all about systems of measurement basically and let me go to the next section that is how to measure length area volume okay all these things and temperature as well and what are the instruments will be used and uh, what is the methodology to measure these things okay we will discuss in depth those in the in that section till that goodbye and uh, take care and request you to subscribe and uh, like comment okay it this will help me to bring similar kind of content into, into the next session okay thank you very much we'll see you in the next class